Greasy gang. Or don't. Bang! You know who it is and you know what it is. It's your boy C. Greasy. Back with another informational video. So let's get right into it. As you can tell from the title, this is going to be a good one. All right. It's going to be a good one. And it's because I have people that I personally know. And not only that, I read the comments, y'all. I do. Because sometimes I jump in. them. But I read the comments because I want to see what other people are actually thinking about certain topics. So this topic right here is really how to properly watch these alpha male videos, right? Pretty much like having your own perspective, not forming yourself into these people's ideas or anything like that, because that's not what you want to do. You don't want to watch one alpha male dude, another alpha male guy, or another alpha male guy, take bits and pieces from them and then just, oh, this is who I am. No, that's not, no. This is what you need to do when watching these alpha male videos, take into consideration that a lot of what they're saying, I'm gonna say most, most of what they're saying in their videos is accurate. But when it comes to pretty much in a way of disrespecting a woman, you know what I'm saying, um, not having civil dialogue, pretty much just over talking her and not letting her say anything because that's not a logic debate. You know what I'm saying? A logical debate with anybody, man to man, man to woman, it don't matter. Especially if it's a partnership, you're supposed to have a civil dialogue between whatever you guys are talking about. It's supposed to be a fair exchange of words so therefore each side can get their point of view across. Instead of one side just bashing in what they believe wholeheartedly, this and that, and not trying to hear the other side, because at that point it's just a dictatorship. Now, if that is what you want in your relationship where everything goes by what you say, then that's a whole different story. I can't really speak on that. But I'm just saying in terms of people who actually believe in the 50-50, 100-100 concept, then those are the people who I'm talking to. Because... In order for a relationship to work in those terms that I'm talking about, you guys have to have clear understanding of each other's dislikes and likes, stuff like that. I understand when watching these alpha male videos though, sometimes they bash their principles onto the women, right? And it's because they can, and the reason why they can is because they have, sometimes they have contracts with the people who come on their show. And if you violate the contract, which it may have in the contract, do not talk over the you know, main person of the show, then you're violating terms. Therefore, you can get kicked off at will at any time. They can check you however they want because this is their platform. This is their show. You see what I'm saying? They can talk to these women any kind of way to an extent because this is their platform. And these women, they already know. It's not like they get on the show and then like these men are acting crazy. No, they know beforehand how it's supposed to be ran. They know the rules and regulations and the terms that they agree with before they even hit on the show. Now, the whole point of me saying all this, check this out. Because we've had a couple girls on the show try to come on and say, like, you're not going to get paid with us. Like, bro, we don't need any of you guys. I just right. want to make that very clear. First of all, we don't need you guys. But this is a great opportunity. And we're grateful. An opportunity for you guys. Okay, thank so you. So I just want to make that very clear because I don't want no girls coming on here thinking like, oh, we're like the prize. We're spe like, fuck out of here. You guys are on our platform. And I'm not because another girl tried to say that. Say no, that don't before. take it that way. We're, okay. We, we I just were here. Very, for you guys. I just want to be very we're clear about that. We're here to support. That. I'm from Miami, so I'm here to support. Yeah, no, I just want to make that of very course. clear that we don't yeah. need girls no. on this show. We're going to be successful without you guys. This of is a course. perk that we do late night. We do a main show. So a lot of girls Absolutely. get it twisted thinking like, oh, we need girls. Like, we don't no, need you guys no, at no. all. We, we. Now, you see what I'm saying? How he pretty much like put her in her place, checked her, pretty much let all of them know. Hey, we don't need y'all. This is my show. 
Yes. That's because they are a very popular platform, YouTube organization, and I'm pretty sure they might, like I said, they might have contracts with the people who come on the show and the people got to agree to their terms and rules. If they violate those terms and rules, they put them in check and let them know what's good. Now, don't be watching videos like this and think, oh, I can do this to a female in real life. Okay, you can, but you're not going to have too many interactions. Females not going to want to talk to you because in real life, that's not how it works. It's just not. That's not reality. You can't always expect that every female you meet in life is going to be wanting to not, you know, say what they got to say, stuff like that. And even in friendships, what who would want to be friends with somebody who all they're saying is their side and if you try to say anything, they pretty much ignore you. They don't take nothing that you say into consideration. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just got to think like that. Not only that, <sighs> this one right here, man. Many people believe that these alpha male men just woke up and just became this alpha guy. No. Most of these alpha men that you watch on YouTube were betas. That's a fact. And the reason how they were beta was because later on in life they woke up and realized that they were beta. The only way you are going to be alpha, this is it right here, man. You either, one, you get raised by an alpha male who teaches you the principles and foundations and regulations of what it means to be an alpha male. And you, as the individual, have to intake that and choose to want to live that type of lifestyle. Or, if you don't get raised by an alpha male, you're later going to realize that you've been beta for however long you've been beta and then from that point on you choose whether you want to learn how to be alpha and then just progress as the days go by years go by or you realize hey I'm beta I'm fine with it you know what I'm saying I don't want to be alpha that's too much work I'm gonna just stay the way I am that point is a choice you feel what I'm saying now, for those who don't believe me, just check out these videos right here. Perfect examples of alpha men stating that they were beta. And not only that, they also approach women. Because most people think that they don't approach women, that they really just stand there and you know what I'm saying, women just flock to them. No, do not get that false notion that be, being an alpha male means you don't approach women. Now I'm done talking. I'm gonna let these guys explain what I- Tell them them to promote a guy out of the friend zone? Yeah, because they- Holy they shit! Are, they, they have been there since, <laughs> the, since day one for you, listening I to you about your crappy exes. <laughs> See, there are women out there saying they rebuke. Ladies, yes, you must unlearn. Jenny Badass is telling you, ladies, to promote your number one beta male orbit out of the friend zone. I have been promoted out of the friend zone once. I think you told me about this. Actually. Yeah, yeah, but I'm going to get into it. <laughs> How do I get over approach anxiety? As you guys know, I live here in Miami, Florida. And if I see a cute girl walking down the street, I literally, like, you know, you can ask my boy, Fresh Prince CEO. I'll go dart, go across the street, whatever it may be, stop her talk to her, start generating a conversation out of thin air, and everyone's like, wow, how do you do that? Guys, let me tell you something, man. I get rejected a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Um, okay. I okay. didn't even get to ask my question, you Go guys. ahead, ask your question while I set up the poll. All right, so if I was alone at the bar or a club or in general, just out in public in general, and you guys were alone too, would you approach me? That's a good one. Javizi? Uh at a bar in a club? Yeah, would you approach her? Um if I was alone. Hey man, I'm shooting my shot at everything. 
I don't care. I'm just gonna take over. I walk. You don't space. care. You don't I'm care what a, you don't care what a person I'm, looks like. You're just gonna walk. I'm up taking to over. Them. I'm 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 the fat girl in the corner. What's up? I'm boosting her confidence. Boom. You know the bar. <laughs> I'm like, yo, everyone's gonna know my name. All right, so yeah. you just like every type of woman. You like I didn't say I like every type of woman. Hold up. Whoa, okay. whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. You okay. said would I talk to you? And that's a yes. Okay. Wow. This is getting <laughs> crazy now, man. All I'm right. hearing the specific All right. question. All right, next next person. Uh, fresh. Okay. Yeah. If uh, I was alone. Alone. And you were single. And you were single. Wow. I am single. But I'll say this. So you are attractive. Okay. You're definitely um, a looker. Now, if I saw you and I was alone I, and I wanted you, I would approach you 100%. So. All right. Cool. Um, your turn. Would you approach her in a, in a club? If you, were, if you were single in a club and I was by myself, uh -huh. would you approach me? I, I think I got the answer for it. Oh, hell no. Oh, <laughs> No. <laughs> okay, but no, I'd, I'd come and say hello. I would yeah. come and say hello. Okay, real uh, quick. Right. Meet. Now, you see what I'm saying? Kevin Samuels, the most popular alpha male on YouTube right now. He even said, at one point in time, he was in the friend zone. And he had came out of the friend zone once. Now, Alpha men, alpha male men do not get put in friend zones because we don't believe in them. We don't believe in plutonic friends. You know what I'm saying? In order to be in the friend zone, you had to have been a beta male because that's for a different topic actually, but I'm gonna let that be right there. But like I said, Kevin Samuels stated that he was in the friend zone. In order to be in the friend zone, you had to have been a beta at one point in time in your life and notice he said once because probably that was his awakening of what he was during that period of time of his life the other alpha male men that i put as examples you know what i'm saying stated you got to approach women they themselves approach women and not only do they approach them but they get rejected more times than not they get women who tell them no more than they get women who tell them yes. But guess what? That's how you stay and become an alpha male. That's how you do it. You got to not only talk about it on YouTube and try to awake more people, but you got to also live it. You think being an alpha male is easy? No, being a high value man is easy. No, being a high value man and an alpha male, you have standards, you have principles and a foundation and you stand by them. And if women that you meet do not fit the criteria of your principles and foundation that you stand on, you got to keep moving. They're not it. You can't waver with your own foundation. You can't waver with your own principles. You stick to your guns and you move around until you find a woman who fits the criteria of what you need in your life. Not just want, but need. You know what I'm saying? And that that's really what it is. And when you can teach somebody that and move forward, and help other people with success in getting women, right? Because that's what this comes down to, not just women, but also having respect for oneself. Then you succeeded. Don't keep watching these videos and see these women talk about, oh, you know what I'm saying? This man needs to make 20K a month in order for me to talk to him. That is not realistic. Those are not the women, one, that you want to be in your life because financial is the number one thing in their life, not who you are as a person. Two, you know how much money that is? 20K a month? You may never see that in your life. People with degrees who get into their field and even managers in their field don't even see 20K a month. That's like top five, top 10% of a man financially 
that that person is looking for. And that's fine. They can want to look for that person. But just know that may not be realistically going to happen for that person. They can want a millionaire all they want, but that doesn't mean they're going to get it. So as a man, just be realistic. Like when watching these videos and these fine women talk about, oh, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm looking for a man who makes 20, 30K a month and this and that. Don't think all fine women are really thinking the way that woman in that video is thinking. Now, any video that you watch, it's just a video and it is what it is. Now, I'm going to end it on this term right here, man, because I believe my boy Abba hit it right on the spot of everything that I pretty much summed up in this video. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I love you guys. And let's get to it on the next informational video. All right, y'all. Show of hands, who here, because I feel like this conversation is going to interesting places, but I don't think it's necessary. Who here dislikes extreme arrogance? You have to raise your hand. Everyone raise their hand. Okay, so I'm going to ask you another question. Why is it that all you ladies who dislike arrogance and like humbleness want a life that is so extra and lavish? You want six figure man. You want a high value man doing all this stuff. Why is it that everyone pretends like they hate arrogance, but then their standards are like, if we're being very honest, there's about what, mm -hmm. 10 of you here, maybe two or three of you at best will get with a guy who makes six figures or more because it's such a small percentage. By the numbers, it's probably impossible for all of you to get that. Did you see those two girls go, it's me. <laughs> Definitely, just because of that, it's not you. <laughs> they, they, just, they just went right over their head. They, everyone, and that's the point. Everyone thinks they're the exception. Yep, absolutely. So there was a bit of like an arrogance to that where it's like, if you love humbleness so much, why don't you live a humble life? What's wrong with getting with a regular dude who's got a 401k, he makes 40k a year, maybe he's, he's home at the end of the day, he takes care of the bills, you guys got a nice little house in the suburbs. Why is that not enough? I don't understand why there's all this talk about like, would, would, would I let my high value man cheat? I'm gonna be honest with y'all, most of y'all not gonna get one. <laughs> and that's not me trying to be mean, it's like, there's, there's such a small percentage. You think I'm gonna get a nine out of 10? Like, I mean, potentially it's possible, but it's not likely for right. most men out there. So if most men were sitting around a table, I want a nine out of ten. I'm like, nigga, you are not going to get one. Go for a six or a five because it's probably more likely for you. Mm -hmm. So I think it's interesting that we constantly talk about high value men. It's not going to happen. So what's wrong with just regular dudes for most people? That's what I don't understand. There is actually nothing wrong with regular dudes. And actually, the when you say arrogance, I think that's a personality trait. So a person that is arrogant is always talking about what they have and you know you could have a lot and still be humble exactly. does not there mean that you are arrogant for having a lot that just mm -hmm. means that you have a good safety network well, characterized yes, yes. by a, a feeling of superiority self-importance or entitlement and this is if, entitlement in its purest form if you love humbleness so much why don't you live a humble life get yourself a home have some kids enjoy yourself everybody seems to want luxury and there's a weird thing there and i don't get it this is why i come on with my dusty clothes this is why i travel economy this is why i don't spend like crazy it's like i don't need much i don't live my life lavishly i'm fine with just a humble life if i made 40k a year doing youtube bro you you know me i've been the same i'm good with it I gotta stay focused, gotta keep my head up Gotta keep moving even when you fail oh, See me while I'm riding, tryna get my bread oh, I can't let them stop me, you heard what I said Bruh. Diamonds on me dancing, try me, I ain't scared